Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring us a quick love reading. Again, this is going to be for the baby sharks, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for the Pisces, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. It's going to be general, it won't resonate for every Pisces on the planet. If I get it right for you guys, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. Alright Pisces, I am getting ready to go live and do some Q&A very soon, but something just told me to do a read for the baby sharks really quick, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do us, give us a quick love reading, okay? Again, for the baby sharks, for Pisces, make sure you guys give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share if I get it right for you. So let's see. I'm, I'm going to see what, what's going on between you and your person. Recent past, the Eight of Cups. Ooh, death. So Pisces, I'll be damned if in the recent past, Something didn't end in. You could be dealing with another water sign or a Scorpio, but the Eight of Cups and death is like, that is it, okay? This is a recent past. You should be dealing with the fire sign, another water sign. I feel like, based on what I'm seeing on the deck, I feel like it was like, kind of like the final time because I, I do feel like there's an energy of ending, coming back, ending, coming back, starting over again. So I feel like in the recent past, there was a complete nope. This has to end, change, and transform. Give me some more for the recent past for the baby sharks. Eight of Cups. This is walking away for, to, from a person, place, or thing that's no longer serving you. That's the Eight of Cups energy. And it's not easy. It's not a fun energy, but it's like something that you just got to do if, you're look, if you want to be happy, right? If you're realizing you can't be happy in a situation, you got to Eight of Cups the world in the recent past. This is something ending this is a cycle closing out the world is the last of the major arcana pisces so this is like the world is the energy is of after you've been all the major arcana you've been the fool the magician the high priestess the hierophant you've had the tower moments the devil right the world is the ending of that this is you closing out a huge cycle and learning lessons beginning anew here what's your page of cups could have definitely been dealing with a water sign or or you could have definitely been dealing with someone who's emotional emotionally immature but I also feel like with the Page of Cups, even though this cycle ended and, and, and you and your person, vice versa, could have learned some huge lessons, there was still some sort of affection there. Give me one more for the recent past for the baby sharks, for Pisces. Again, guys, remember to throw that like button up for me if I got it right for you. The Emperor, oh, Divine Masculine Energy, Aries Taurus, Ener Aries Taurus Energy, the Devil. Ooh, could be dealing with a Capricorn. I Pisces, more than anything, you could have been this emperor. I feel like more than anything in the past, someone here made a decision to end some sort of toxic cycle here, right? I do. I told you, I feel like there was an in and out type of thing, a lot of temptation, right? But there was a complete energy. I feel like with the emperor, this is someone who puts their foot down. This could be a boss or business owner. Pisces, I just feel like someone made the decision here. Now, you could have been dealing with the boss or business owner, right? Or Capricorn here, right? The devil could be toxic, binding, addictive behavior. Someone could have had another situation somewhere else with the devil, right? Or they were trapped. In, I won't say trapped in, but they were in another situation where they were bound to, right? Or you was just bound to this person. But someone made a, a definite decision in the past here, Pisces. I'm going to say it's you, but put it where it goes. Someone decided to walk away to end that cycle. And with the emperor here, someone said what they meant, and they meant what they said in the past, the recent past here, about this energy, about the devil energy. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on in the current here between you and your person. What's going on in the current energies between Pisces and this person's spirit? Make it plain for me. Yeah, somebody definitely put their foot down in the past. Seven of Wands. So this is someone still having their guard up. I said in the past, Pisces, whoever, whether this was you or them, someone said what they meant and they meant what they said. The Seven of Wands tell me they are sticking to it. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Strength, yes. A Leo, yes. Pisces, someone said what they meant, meant what they said, and they are sticking to it. I feel like it could definitely be you, but put yourself where you go. I'm going to say you, but remember, if you're cross-watching, you could have done this to the Pisces. You could have had to do this to the Pisces. It definitely feels like this is what someone did. They said what they meant. They meant what they said. They are in, they are in control with strength. They are in control. They're standing their ground. Right? I don't feel like this is anyone forcing their will. This is just being in control of their own self. Right? This is like being in control of oneself. This is what I'm getting. I said what I meant. I meant what I said. I'm in power. I'm in control. This is what's going on in the current Pisces. Okay, let's see. Give me some more for the current energies. You could be dealing with the Leo. 
Give me some more for the current energies for the baby sharks and leaves, spirit. Give me more for the current for Pisces. Oop, the devil. So the saga continues. Pisces, you could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn here. Pisces, I, I know that this cycle ended. I certainly do. I see someone standing their ground here. But the devil tells me that someone here is still very much attracted here. Nine of swords and stress the hell out. Now, the devil is the energy of stress, worries, fears, right? Some of that shit can still remain here, right? Some of you are literally like, you got your guard up. You're trying to block. You, you, I don't know. You see, you're trying to block the devil here, right? Some of you definitely feel like you're fighting the devil. Nine of swords. But I do feel like Pisces, it's definitely feeling like to me, I'm going to say it's you, but put yourself where you go. I feel like you stood your ground. I feel like there's definitely an energy where someone is definitely not over this with the devil. They're not. And they're stressed and worried and they're having high anxiety. Some, it's, it feels like to me someone's literally reaching out to you, Pisces. They're still, they still, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still feel, I see this pull from this person. Give me, give me some more on the current energies for the baby sharks. Ooh, wee. This person is still pulling on you, Pisces. Give me more for the current energies. No doubt about it. For the current, for the baby sharks. Give me more for this. King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be you, Pisces. This could you be you would be in, in control of your emotions. But you know, I read literally. And now I have an emperor and now I have a king of cups here. Masculine energy. Oh, and look at the queen of swords. Here we go. Now, I have this masculine energy, this king of cups. I told you this person is still very this person still very much wants this shit, Pisces. They do. And there's no way of me getting around it. The Queen of Swords is, feels like it's probably you, but put yourself where you go. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This this masculine energy, this emperor, this king of cups here, this with this devil energy, I do feel like someone still very much still is attracted, still attached, still wants this. There's an emotional pull. But the Queen of Swords is the opposite of emotional. She's unemotional. She's analytical. She's making head over heart decisions. Yep, about her three of pentacles. Pisces, this definitely feels like you. And in this, in this deck, and look at the Queen of Cups under here, a couple. This Queen of Cups feels like she surrenders to me. Yep, judgment. She just surrenders to the divine. Like, sometimes you have to not fight. Like, you, so, I don't want to say you can't help who you love. You can, sometimes you can't help who you love, but you can help how you love them, right? You could definitely choose to love someone not any less, but differently, right? And that's kind of surrendering to what will be will be because you can't control people, right, Pisces? I feel like you're in that energy. Give me some more for this current. But someone definitely, Pisces, I feel like you said what you meant and you meant what you said and you stand your ground. But somebody is definitely, oh my God, are they in their feelings? They want this very badly. And I feel like you're probably dealing with a stubborn person who's very stolic, stoic, but also very tempting and suave. Ten of Wands. This is dropping a heavy burden here. This is not being oppressed. The Emperor. See, oh, and look at look at look and look, and, and this is right under the Emperor. Yeah, Pisces. I feel like um with the Ten of Wands, somebody may be ready to just let it all go. Yeah, because I see somebody pick, I see somebody making a move here to unburden themselves. And I feel like this person is still pulling at you. I do feel like this person probably has some shit that they need to unburden and let themselves go of. If you know, you know, you know, Pisces, because it's saying in the past you walked away and ended the cycle with this person. And I don't feel like it was an easy thing for you to do. And it could have been because this person was very stubborn, very closed off emotionally. But somehow, somehow, some way with the devil, somehow, some way, you and this person is really attracted to each other. It wasn't easy. I feel like you are standing your ground. But I feel like this person may definitely be making some moves to uh, um to unburden themselves, to get themselves unoppressed. Here's an empress under here, Pisces. This is a counterpart, baby. Six of cups. Yeah, Pisces, this is someone who loves your ass. They do. Now, this person could also have another situation, like I said. Wife and kids, husband and kids. That could be an, a factor here. Yeah, here you go, Pisces, the hangman. But it's coming up as you're the person. Six of Wands. It's coming up as you're the person that they see as their counterpart. Six of Cups, the hangman. Like, there's something about this energy between you and this person. It does not go away. And I feel like this person is recognizing that. They're telling me they want to work on something. But Pisces, you telling me you standing your ground. Give me one more for the current energy here for the baby sharks. Ooh, we. The sun. You could definitely be dealing with the Leo. Why do I feel like this person feels like they're seeing things clearly? Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like this person feels like they're seeing things clearly with this connection, Pisces. The sun is illumination. It's a ha it's ha it's a happy card, though. It's like it, like for sure. 
Pisces, I feel like you see things clearly too. But why do I feel like they they feel like they are now seeing things clearly? But I feel like I said, you ended the cycle. Three of Pentacles here. You're building something on a solid foundation here. I feel like they see some things clearly. I feel like you do too. Let's get some for the future, in the, in the near future for this, for the baby sharks. Give me some for the near future. Where is this going in the near future for Pisces? Again, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if I'm getting this right for you. Give me some for the near future for Pisces. Near future. Near future for the baby sharks. And love. The nine of wands, the five of pentacles. See, I feel like, again, the nine of wands is definitely someone who is the wounded warrior, who is someone who is guarded, right? But they still possess the courage and the strength to complete something here. The ten, right? Mm-hmm. The five of pentacles. Listen, Pisces. This person may be very hurt if you're choosing to leave them out in the cold for good. Five of pentacles. Because I have somebody being very hurt here. Right? And listen, if this person know that they wounded you and they left you feeling left out, if they left you feeling this way, right? I do feel like it's this person, though. I feel like somebody, somebody's very wounded. They are. They know with the ten, the ten of wands and the, the ten of wands and the sun here. They know what they need to do. The nine of wands is having a, possessing the courage and the strength to do it. Five of pentacles. But there could also be a loss of money. I also feel like somebody could be very hurt and feeling very left out in the cold because now you have your guard up and you're standing your ground. This person could literally be crying over you, Pisces. Give me some more for the near future. For the baby sharks. Near future for the baby sharks. Near future for Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Nine of Cups. See, I feel like there's an energy here. The Queen of Pentacles nurtures home, business, money, the bag, right? This is a wife, a mother. She could be a business owner in her own right. Masculine, feminine energy, put it where it goes. The queen of pentacles is definitely focused on the comforts and luxury of her home and her environment and stability. With the nine of cups, I see there's a queen of pentacles getting wish fulfillment. Someone could definitely see you, Pisces, as like... I don't know. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups here, someone could definitely love the way you conduct yourself. They, they, someone could see you as someone that they could have something like really happy and fulfilling with. Others of you are just going in this direction on your own. Like, I'm going to fill up my own cup. I'm going to take care of myself, my house, my kids, my family. And it's bringing you wish fulfillment. The Magician and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, some of you are definitely manifesting, and I love it. And you're being very analytical. But for others of you, I got to tell you something. This person does want to come back. They're manifesting something. Yeah, I see a conversation coming between you and somebody, Pisces. The Nine of Cups, the Magician, so somebody manifesting here is the King and Queen of Swords. Someone's, someone wants a conversation here. Yep. They want to talk about some long-term plans here. Give me some more for the future energy here for the Baby Sharks. Give me one for the near future for this situation. Some of you, there's someone watching you online with the world and the King of Cups. They're watching you. They're hoping you reach out online, but you're not. Give me some, <laughs> give me some for Pisces. For the future energy. The Ten of Cups. Happy life, happy wife, happy surroundings. The Nine of Cups. See, there is an energy of somebody focusing on their money, their stability, their home, like right, making it, making it, making it, creating a happy home, a happy environment for their children, their family. Nine of Cups here, Pisces, you could definitely be doing that. But Pisces, I also feel like someone sees you this way. Someone sees you as family. They see you as, as someone that fills up their cup, that they could have a happy, stable home environment with. Whatever that means. Yeah, listen, I'm telling you, this person is whipping up a conversation. Yep, I keep seeing it. I keep seeing a conversation between you and someone about something long term, about where something is going. And this could have been a long time coming. Some of you are dealing with the earth sign. Someone could definitely be needing to move or they're changing jobs or something to that effect. Hmm. Because I do have two tens. Give me some more for the future energy for the baby sharks and love. This is someone that's manifesting a conversation with you about this, Pisces. I, I keep seeing it. I saw King and Queen of Swords. This is two people talking to each other. And like I said, this conversation may not be all lovey-dovey because they're coming up King and Queen of Swords. It means that they're having an honest conversation here. Mm. Give, me one, give me some more for the future energy for the Pisces, for the baby sharks. Give me some more. Look, what I'll tell you, King of Swords. Now, Pisces, you guys know energy is fluid. Put it where it goes. But I do have, I have an Emperor here. I have a King of Cups here. Now I have a King of Swords. I have one Queen of Pentacles. So, again, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, to, uh, King, 
Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I have Capricorn here. I have Leo here. I have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Look, Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, there's getting ready to be a conversation from someone. The King of Swords is always is, is, is already carrying the sword of truth. There's it's spoken. There's something about speaking, sp speak, spoken word here. And here's the Eight of Wands, that communication. The Tower, yeah. Yeah, this is coming in as a tower moment. There's going to be some shock and communication, Pisces. I don't know what this is about, but there's some shock and communication coming to this nine of pentacles, a single, solid, stable, abundant person here. With, without or despite, put yourself where you go in it. Yeah. The four cups and the high response. Someone wants to talk about being bored and discontent with a situation. It could be dealing with work. It could be dealing with family. It could be dealing with a commitment here. Yeah, about moving on from that here. Someone wants to communicate this. It's coming in as a tower moment. There's going to be some shocking communication to this, and I feel it, Pisces. Give me some more for the future energy. Give me more for the future energy. There's going to be some shocking communication coming in about this. Someone wants to speak about this. Give me more for Pisces, Spirit. The Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's work, energy, and effort being put into this page of cups. And remember, the, we started with the page of cups up here. I told you that I know that some sort, some sort of cycle ended and someone walked away. But I knew that there were still emotions with the page of cups. I knew there were still emotions here. For some of you, this is someone that you have children with. Yeah, but look at the Queen of Cups. There you go under there again. And it's about this Three of Pentacles, about building something on a solid foundation. And I feel like with the Three of Pentacles there and the Five of Pentacles under there, and under, in order to build something on a solid foundation with the Five of Pentacles under there, something is going to have to be left in the past or left behind. I also feel like someone could definitely be feeling very much like alone and in a feeling of lack because of these emotions that they have for you. Pisces, I'm going to do just a little bit of clarification and I'm going to get out of here. Again, guys, if I get it right for you, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are interested in booking me, please email me. I'm going to do a little clarification on the current and then on the future, okay? Because I do feel like there's getting ready to be shocking communication in one shape, way, shape, form, or fashion in this situation. Let's get one on the seven of wands here. I do. I told you I feel like this is someone standing their ground here. And I feel like it was you, but it could be, you know, put it where it goes. Seven of Wands could definitely be the card of blocking. Knight of Cups, Six of Swords. See, someone is standing their ground with the Six of Swords. I, the Six of Swords is the energy of moving on, moving away, right? Moving, right? And I feel like they're standing their ground on someone who they still may have love and affection for. Pisces, some of you are blocking a love message from someone. For sure. Look, Page of Wands, that's this communication. Right? It could definitely be the energy of just st standing your ground and moving on and loving yourself, Pisces, and looking forward to new beginnings here with the Page of Wands. I do feel like for some of you, this is someone that you have children with. Give me one for the devil for the current. I do feel like you're focusing on that, though, Pisces. You're focusing on moving forward, right? Loving yourself, looking forward to new opportunities. Give me one for the devil for the current, for the baby sharks, the devil. The Ten of Wands. See, someone is burdened. It's, it's already here twice. Death could be dealing with the Scorpio. Yes, Pisces. The Hierophant. Now listen, Taurus energy. Listen, I told you, someone could definitely be in a situation somewhere else. With the Hierophant, this could be dealing with family, work. It could be a marriage, anything, another contract or something. There is something here that's, that's, that um I do feel like this person still wants you back. With the Ten of Wands and Death here, there's something that's getting ready to end, change, and transform. There's some. I told you, someone is... I feel like someone is becoming awakened, and they do want to unburden themselves. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio, Capricorn. Look, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, Pisces. Some of you ended this toxic situation with someone, and you and like you like you learned some real spiritual lessons by this. But I do feel like this is this person. Yep, Ten of Cups. Someone is definitely ending something here, Pisces. Too many tens. Hierophant, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. They're juggling this right now. Eight of Wands, and they also want to communicate this to you. Give me one for the King of Cups here for the current. This is definitely someone in their feelings. They're being, they're in, they're being in control of their feelings. They definitely are. But I feel like it's on their brain heavily. Look, the High Priestess in the Page of Pentacles. You could definitely be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But Pisces, intuitively, I feel like you know this person wants to make you an offer. The Magician, there he goes. Gemini, Virgo, Energy. This is definitely somebody whipping up an offer here. Intuitively, you know. 
Yep, because it's coming to you. Queen of Cups. What I tell you? There he goes, the King of Swords. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a conversation coming in for some of you with someone. Give me one for this Ten of Wands. I already got the Devil and Death by the Ten of Wands already. But this is definitely somebody making some sort of move to unburden themselves, get out of something toxic, transform Seven of Swords, and they're moving in secrecy and silence. Great, Knight of Swords. Someone is get, uh, making some sort of move very quietly to unburden themselves. They are taking action, Pisces. I'm just not sure what action they're taking. You will know if you know, if you know. But they're taking this action to end something here with death. Yep, six of wands. I feel like they're trying to, um, this is somebody trying to give victory and control over a situation. Give me one for the sun here for Pisces. Give me one for the sun energy. What's the sun energy about in the current? I feel like everybody's enlightened right now. Look, the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I feel like Pisces, four swords. I feel like Pisces, you definitely work to put your foot down in this, this cycle with this person. I feel like it's you, it was clear how you felt about them to them. I feel like they're awakening to this. Mm -hmm. I told you, with the sun and the lovers, I do feel like this is the energy of someone. Now they're awakening to this energy, right? They're coming, they're, they're coming aware of the realization that they have this strong connection with you. The devil and the lovers could sometimes be two connections. I told y'all that before. There could be like one very spiritual, deep connection, and there could be one that's toxic, codependent, uh, codependent and binding. If you know, you know, you know, Pisces. But I feel like for some of you, Pisces, it could have been an energy where like you really, really wanted this, and you found yourself kind of obsessed, and you finally ended that cycle and kind of let go. And now this person could now become become, become in, it could have always been very clear to you how you felt about this person, but now this person could now be becoming um, awakened to how they feel about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get some for the future energy here for the Nine of Wands for Pisces. The Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior. Six of Cups. See, this is definitely something here about a soulmate. Three of Cups. I do feel like third party shit could have had a lot to do with this energy of this Nine of Wands with this. This could also be somebody really wanting to reunite with you, but they know that you're guarded. What's under this Three of Cups judgment? There's definitely the tower. It's definitely the energy of someone wanting a second chance here. Being very stubborn, but keeping an eye out. I see that. And I also see some other situations going on. But you know if you know if you know, Pisces. Give me one for this Queen of Pentacles here for future energy. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is just someone really focused on home, stability, nurturing, money, business. The com comforts, right? Someone could see you that way. Ten of Cups next to it again. Look, y'all. I already had the Queen of the Queen of uh, Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. Came out on her again. Someone could definitely see you as this Queen of Cups. Three of Cups, yeah, they do want to reunite with you. They see you as someone very comfortable, stable. Someone that's like home and family. Judgment, they want another chance to tower. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. If someone's in another situation, they could definitely be making a decision to end that Pisces. I got to tell you, and they're doing it very strategically and quiet, too. Why is the Ten of Cups here for the future energy for Pisces? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. Conflict, competition, Eight of Wands. Somebody want to reach out to you and they could feel conflicted, Pisces. Listen, I don't know. Like I said, if this person manipulated you in the past, that could be the reason why they're... Cause it's some somebody wants to communicate something to you, but the five of swords is I see I see there's some sort of issue with communicating something to you. Six of wands it could definitely be somebody with an ego here. Mm -hmm. Give me one for this king of swords. There's gonna be a shocking convers. There's gonna be a um conversation coming though, Pisces. Someone definitely has um something to say to you, Pisces. And I feel like it's this king of swords here. Give me one for the future energy. So with this king of swords in the future for Pisces. Look at all these flew out. Two of cups. There's definitely someone that feels like you're a soulmate. Look at the higher refine. Oh my God. Could be a Taurus. See, the moon. Yeah, Pisces, there's some sort of conversation that you don't see coming from a soulmate here. Look, there he is again, a king of pentacles. So let me show you because a lot of cards came out. This person does feel like you're a soulmate. This is someone you have a connection with. With the higher refine in the moon, you could be dealing with Taurus or another water sign. But I feel like there's something that's going on underneath the surface that you're unaware of. I also feel like this person is very much in their feelings. I have the nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. I do feel like this is someone coming in with an offer nine to the 10 here. And under here is this king of pentacles for sure. And what's under him temperate. You could be dealing with the, uh, fire sign, uh, uh, Sag in particular, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have air, I have Taurus, some of anybody 
But there is somebody tempering themselves because they're coming in and they want to have this conversation with you. It's going to be a shocking conversation about what's been going on underneath the surface of something. Give me one about the eight. Give me, let's see what the eight of pentacles is for the future energy. Then I'm getting out of here. I love you guys and I definitely appreciate you for taking the time to watch. Someone does want to work on something with you though, Pisces. Look, there he goes again. The emperor. Mm, the six of wands. Listen, remember we started with him up here, Pisces. Here he is again. There is some sort of shocking conversation coming in from someone that you love here, Pisces. This person, I feel like this person is now putting their foot down and making some sort of decision. They're definitely putting energy and effort into something. I feel like it's because they want to work on something with you. They definitely want to get victory and control over a situation, but I also feel like they want to get your attention. Pisces, they want you to know that something is ending and they see things clearly now. You'll have to put that where that goes. I love you guys. I thank you for taking the time for watching my videos. I thank you for uh, all your support. I thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the shares, the bookings, the donations. You guys stay dope, stay blessed, and I'll bring you messages really soon. Bye, Pisces.